What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am not in Kansas anymore, aka Minnesota. I am in sunny South Florida and God is it hot down here. I know I really shouldn't complain. I turn off the AC every single time I film when I'm in Minnesota and it never really gets all that hot inside. We've had the AC turned off for a minute now. And honestly, I just kind of want to turn it back on. I kind of want to. Maybe I'll do it. You know what? I'm going to do it. If it's like noticeably louder in here to me, whatever. I have to be comfortable here. So today we made a spicy sriracha chicken mac and cheese with tons and tons of garlic. This is a recreation of one of Jupiter's most famous restaurant dishes. The restaurant is called Food Shack. They actually have a secondary restaurant called Leftovers as well. And they actually just call it Indoroni. That's how it's listed on their menu, Indoroni, I-N-D-O-R-O-N-I. So it gets its name from the sriracha, which is a sambal chili, which originated in Indonesia, therefore Indo-roni. In the restaurant, they actually use all sorts of different noodles. So sometimes it's penne, sometimes it's bow ties, rigatoni, etc. I'm using farfalloni today. They are so flippin' cute. Instead of being like bow ties, like farfalle, they look like butterflies, They're like round, like a little, like a little bow tie, but round. It's just like extra adorable, guys. So we got the Sriracha Velveeta cheese sauce in here. P.S. I looked up a copycat recipe for this, so I'm hoping it's like as close to the restaurant version as possible. And then it's topped with some fried garlic and some shavings of fresh Parmesan cheese. Mm. It's seriously the best ever. One of my favorite dishes in Jupiter and like the other dishes. Most of them are there at Food Check too, my favorite dishes in the area. All right, guys, I am so hungry. I've been working my cute little booty off, so it's time to start eating. I mean, <laughs> this pasta is so stinking cute. It smells like exact. That's freaking crazy. It's so spicy, but like in a tolerable way. I actually really love the farfalloni with it. Mm. 
I'm getting all the like tingles at the top of my mouth. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I think other times that I've made it when I haven't followed a copycat recipe, I wasn't using nearly enough garlic. Did you see how much garlic I put in here? It was a full quarter cup. Granted, I did make a double batch. I don't know if you guys saw. I kind of did things a little bit differently as far as finishing the dish. Normally I put the pasta in the sauce and finish it there, but I made a double batch because my parents are eating this too tonight and I wanted them to have their own pound of pasta. They also requested that in case you want to know where I got it from. They make theirs super saucy too at the restaurant, so I try to pour on like a lot of sauce. Something that I hadn't done was the chicken stock. Adding in the chicken stock with the chicken really does a nice job of adding a little bit more flavor, but also thinning out the sauce a little bit more so it's not too thick. Seriously, I love this pasta. I'm definitely using it again. Maybe I should tell Food Shack about this pasta. I feel like I haven't gotten to a piece of chicken yet. And I've got a lot of chicken in here. I saw it go in. I will say, making this in a regular portion and not a double or even half is definitely the way to go. Using the same size pan, I could have gotten the chicken way more brown and the chicken could have been a little bit more evenly cooked had I used either a larger pan, which I did not have one of, or just had less chicken in the pan. That much chicken is basically like steaming or boiling the chicken, which, you know, the chicken is still fine and there's plenty of flavor in the sauce, but if you're browning the chicken, it's only going to make it better. Fun fact, when I first started The Hunger Diaries, like first started, I was doing articles and kind of taking pictures, but I mean, it was very, it was an effort. <laughs> Put it that way, E for effort. Anyways, one of the articles, the first articles that I did, of course, was top 10 mac and cheeses in Palm Beach County. And this ended up being number two on the list. Though I'd be curious 
to go back and try the other ones. My number one ended up being at a chain restaurant and it just pains me to say that, it really does, at J. Alexander's. I don't know if you guys have ever been, but that ended up being first because it has such a nice tang. Like, I don't know what they put into it, if it's just like white wine that they're using or something in their sauce, but amazing, amazing tang. So gave it a slight edge on Indoroni, which is definitely a little bit richer. The tang definitely lets you eat more of it. A little bit more well-balanced too, I guess. So I kind of wonder what you could add to this to brighten it up a bit. I wonder if maybe like, even like lime juice, would that be totally weird? Even white wine in this would be good. Look how cheesy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's dripping. There's a reason they call it food porn, you know? There's just too many crossovers. Also, I have to say, I'm getting pretty dang good at multitasking in the kitchen. I was extraordinarily worried about having to do the fried garlic and finish this at the same time. I'm just, you know, I can't keep track of things. So I thought I was like 100% gonna burn it and the fried garlic turned out like perfect. I have to give some credit to the gas range that my parents have. God, I just like wish so badly that I had a gas range. The heat is just so much more controllable. You know, an electric range, you turn it on high and it, you know, it turns on and off and on and off to try to like maintain that level of heat. Well, with a gas range, you just have fire. It's very simple. You turn the fire up, you turn the fire down. Way, way, way more control. And thus gave me perfectly fried, crispy as hell garlic. Are there any butterfly quotes? Come my lady, come come my lady, you my butterfly, sugar baby. Come my lady, come come my pretty lady, you my butterfly, sugar baby. Where is it from? Is it from Orange County? The movie Orange County? Best movie ever. I feel like I always quote that movie and nobody ever knows what the hell I'm talking about. My mom loves this wine, by the way. It's a cab. Doesn't necessarily go with this. Like I suppose if I was going to like specifically pair something with this, it would be maybe like a Chardonnay or a Pinot Noir, some sort of in-between, not too light 
of a white, not too heavy of a red. Anyways, I quote that movie all the time, it seems like. I always want to be like, we are same height, that is neat. And nobody ever freaking knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I think this is going to be my last bite. I am really at that point. It is so flippin' good though. You really have to make it. You have to make it. It's essential. And P.S. Like, you don't have to make the garlic at the same time you finish it like I freaking did. You can make the garlic ahead of time and have it just ready to sprinkle on top when it's done. <laughs> really easy, all in all. One more. There's one, one more. Guys, this was flippin' delicious. It turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. I guess that happens often enough. I can't recommend Food Shack enough. Go in, support them. Dine in, take out, whatever you want. They're open for both. It feels like the AC just never came on. My mom has a sign on her windowsill that says, baby, it's cold outside. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. freaking calls from my mom. Oh, it's cold today. I'm wearing a sweater. I'm like, how cold is it? Ooh, it's 62. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not cold. That is actually perfect weather. Still can't put the sign up. I digress, guys. Go support Food Shack. Amazing, amazing, amazing restaurant. Consistently good. Every single time I've gone in, it has tasted the exact same. Their specials are amazing. They have a sweet potato crusted fish. You get to pick the fish, whatever their fresh catches are of the day. They've got a few different salad options, but I always pick the sweet potato crusted over greens. It's got fresh green beans in it, fruit like grapes. Sometimes it's mango, sometimes tomato. It has this like garlicky key lime dressing and some sort of like spicy mayo bit over the top. And guys, it's the only salad that I order for a meal, like period. They've got great desserts. It's just like a vibe and it's like straight up Jupiter. Love, love, love 
food shack. I will link the recipe that I used, which was posted by the Sun Sentinel, which is a newspaper in South Florida, in the description of the video for you. Thank you guys so, so, so much for joining today. I've had so much fun being in Florida and getting to do some kind of different stuff. I know you guys have requested things other than pasta for me to make, but I didn't just post two things that weren't pasta. So I feel like that's that's a reasonable ratio. I feel like I hear the air. And I'm just super excited that I got to share something that is so quintessentially Jupiter, all part of my hometown where I grew up with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for showing up, supporting me today. Comment below how you liked this recipe, this video, my Florida content. I love you guys so much. I feel like you guys are becoming my best friend. Is that sad, weird, or something else? I don't know. Stay tuned for more Florida content. I'm actually headed to Orlando on Friday. It's Wednesday today. You're actually watching this on Friday, so I'm headed to Orlando today. To actually just North of Orlando first to Mount Dora. I don't know if you guys have seen, heard of Wave Sushi Restaurant in Mount Dora, but they make the craziest stuff and they make mosaic sushi rolls. Their sushi chef, Alex, is just like a flippin' wizard, and no joke. So I'm literally doing a mosaic sushi mukbang. Ridiculous. So stay tuned for that. I've got some more Florida content coming up for you after that, and I'll see you guys next time. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Bye, guys.